wrestling fans welcome the Combat Zone Wrestling Girls Air Pulling Cat Fight. We guarantee some of the hottest action you've ever seen in the squared circle right here tonight as CW Girls show you what they've got. And right now we're going to start off with Amanda Rodriguez versus the Pink Flash, Kira. Stalling and here we go. You see Amanda Rodriguez flanked by the office. It's actually Stephanie uh, leading right now. Amanda, a charge of Stephanie's, here to take all the fun out of CZW Girls. But I guarantee with girls like this, the fun's going to be there no matter what. Doesn't matter what they try, we're going to have some fun. Amanda, you have been such a great help to the office recently that I'm going to reward you this evening. I'm going to give you pink flash Kira for the first time You just heard it, fans. Right now, Pink Flash Kira is going to make her way to the ring. A charge of Lufisto, one of the most popular women wrestlers ever to grace any wrestling ring anywhere. And I guarantee this match is going to be one hell of a contest. Two beautiful young ladies about to just get it on right here in a hair pulling cat fight. Fans, I'm excited to know you are, and I can't wait for our ringside commentators to call action. Let's send it down the ringside so we can get this one started. The last time out at WSU Power, Pink Kira Flash endeared herself to this audience when she actually took the tag team champions to the limit. And unfortunately, Rick Cataldo wasn't very happy with her services as a partner. But right now, we have a new contest here. Pink Flash Kira taking on Amanda Rodriguez of the offense. Pink Flash Kira is somebody I'm, I'm very well acquainted with. Of course, she wrestles out of both the provinces of Ontario and uh, Quebec in Canada. Here tonight, WSU taking on Amanda Rodriguez. What can you tell me about this girl? I don't know much about her. Well, I was actually not sure she was actually competitor until recent, until just now, because Amanda Rodriguez actually has just been part of the office team here in WSU, and she's actually part of the reason why Lufisto is no longer champion and not here tonight. She's in control of Big Flash Kira here. Why don't you on that head with that headlock? Slow on the rise is Kira. Into the side headlock of her own, Pink Flash Kira. Wrenching away on the head of Amanda Rodriguez now, being backed up into the corner. Clean break applied. Oh, once again, going right after her with that headlock is Amanda Rodriguez. Takes her over, side headlock takedown. For somebody you didn't know was a competitor, she's doing quite well this Yeah, she is doing quite well. Um, I mean, we have seen her in action, um, you know, in Sassy Stephanie's matches, and I'm sure she'll be back out there later tonight when Rick Cataldo faces off with Sassy Stephanie. But right now, she is looking quite good. Absolutely. Waist lock applied here on the pink flash Kira. A pro wrestling superhero out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Sits down, nails her with that elbow shot right to the face. Repeated elbows to the face. Oh, misses the kick. Up to her feet now, drop toe hold, takes her down. Amanda Rodriguez in a bad way here in the corner. Pink Flash Kira looking to charge in. Oh, catches with that back elbow. Now when you see the position, a prone Amanda Rodriguez falls prey to a drop kick right to the chest. And Mademoiselle on the outside is not pleased with what she sees. And we have Kira going for that cover, but only getting a two count. Once again, only good for two. Not, not enough weight applied across those shoulders to keep him pinned to the mat. Uh, both competitors up here. Amanda Rodriguez. Oh, come on now. I don't know if she's going to the eyes or going for the mask or what. Takes her over either, with a fireman's carry. Either way, disrespectful, but I'm not surprised with the way the WSU office has been running things around here lately. Claiming it was for the well-being of us and the fans of WSU why Lufisto was suspended. I don't believe that for one second. Yeah, I love me some Lufisto. In fact, actually, Lufisto is actually part of the reason why Pink Hero Flash is in this ring right now. She trained Pink Hero Flash. One of, one of Lufisto's many protégés. Lufisto, a, uh, a more than competent trainer out of Montreal as well. And now thinking about it, it makes sense why Amanda Rodriguez is awarded this match to, to beat on one of Lufisto's protégés. That's right. They're just rubbing salt in the wound here. He's got a prone in the corner. Big chop. 
Yeah, but right now, it's not looking too good for the plan assassin, Stephanie, as Rodriguez is reeling from those chops to the chest. Absolutely. Just letting loose of those chops across the chest with Amanda Rodriguez. That'll take the wind out of your sails. You're absolutely right, and she can go for a fourth chop here, it looks like. And it oh. sounds like... Oh, come on. Right to the eyes once again. Sends her face first in that top turnbuckle. Snapmares are over. <laughs> Rear chin lock applied. Amanda Rodriguez to Kira, looking to cut off the oxygen flow to the brain. You're absolutely right, and right now this crowd is getting firmly behind Pink Kira Flash in her debut here in the legendary 2300 Arena here tonight at WSU Control. Absolutely. Once again, that, that rear chin lock still applied. Amanda Rodriguez looking to slow down the Pink Flash, who is now slow on the rise to her feet. Well, Kira now got into a vertical base using his elbows to break oh. Rhea once again going to the hair. Man, shortcut applied right there. Taking the hair and just whipping her down the back of the head first. And once again, there's Nick Papa Giorgio distracted by the women here in WSU. What a surprise. I love the name Papa Giorgio. It sounds like a frozen pizza brand. No. It's not delivery. It's probably, it's it's, 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 he probably wishes he had a frozen pizza brand. Oh, oh man. Lung blower from Kira hooks the leg. I could be in here. Two and. Oh, only good for two. Now, Kira now thinking she had enough to do it there, arguing with the referee. She needs to focus on her opponent. Got her by the hair here now, lifting Amanda Rodriguez to her feet. Amanda Rodriguez slaps the hands away, shot the eyes. Once again, the DDT plants her head first into the mat. What's she have planned here? Oh, what is this? Interesting cover. I think she's got the tights. Oh, man. I think she had the tights here. She had all of her weight across those shoulders. It wasn't enough going to the tights. Despicable, but it gets her the win. Amanda Rodriguez, your winner in the opening contest here. And thanks to our ringside crew, we just watched Kira and Amanda Rodriguez just get it on. And Rodriguez blowing kisses to the fans. I don't know... Uh, she should be proud of that victory or not, but uh, she is. And uh, to be quite honest, she can blow a kiss this way, and I wouldn't complain. Not even a little bit. But Pink Flash, Pink Flash now very happy with uh, you know her performance, a little disappointed in the outcome. Takes a bow against the adulation of the CZW Girls Faithful. Making her way back to the locker room area. And fans, we've got another one for you. Lufisto, one of the toughest women ever, versus Mercedes Martinez, who you can now catch on NXT television. And here she comes, Lufisto, dressed in traditional Mountie gear. She is a very proud Canadian, has wrestled all over the world, the United States, Canada, Mexico, Japan, but literally one of the toughest women ever. And I'm not afraid to admit that I have a little bit of a crush on her. Always been one of my favorites uh, in the locker room of WSU and CZW girls. I got a thing for thick thighs, just gotta admit it. And speaking of an amazing competitor, right there is the Latina sensation, Mercedes Martinez. Perhaps one of the toughest ladies to ever step in a wrestling ring. And I, I can't exaggerate what a matchup we're about to watch. Two women that are just literally at the top of their games, hard-hitting strikers. Something you don't always see out of ladies. These two girls can go, and I can't wait for the bell to ring so we can start this action right here at CW Girls. Hey, you want to talk about a big fight here, guys? Oh, wait a second. Oh, God almighty. It's at that bell, Lufisto. Wait, wait, hold on. That's this match is getting started. Uh. Yeah, I was about to say, we're, we're going to be joined on commentary here for this huge matchup by WSU Hall of Fame legend Cindy Rogers. Welcome to the booth here. Hey, guys. How's it going? I, I didn't even know you were in the building. It's good to see you here. Hey, I came in incognito, you know? But right now, Lufisto taking it to the Latina sensation, Mercedes Martinez. These two have quite the history here in WSU. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I always enjoy watching the two of them. Each other. They, they might be two of the uh, toughest females to ever come through WSU in terms of uh, hard hitting and uh, suplexes and throws and stuff like that. I mean, I look mean, at that. Honestly, it might be not, not just that, but they're the two toughest, best female wrestlers I think ever. Oh, God. Well, 
it was Lufisto who actually had Mercedes Martinez last match here in WSU three years ago. It was a brutal affair that saw action spill out all over this building that we're currently sitting in. And what's also odd is that Lufisto was handpicked by our current WSU champion, Ali, to take on this match. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing a bit of a, um, a side of Lufisto that we don't see all that often right now. I mean, you saw when uh, Mercedes Martinez was, uh, uh, you know, making her taunt, you know, you know, uh, doing her pose for everybody to take their pictures. Lufisto, she just uh, came up from behind and smacked her right in the back of the head. We don't, we don't typically see that out of Lufisto all that often. But when she does do that, we know that there's a, uh, that side of Lufisto coming out here. Exactly. You know, she's been going. That's the way of saying what I'm back. I'm here to compete. My way for a pose down, you know? Right now we have Mercedes Martinez going for a cover, only getting a two count. Um, what I find odd about this is the fact that Ali picked Lufisto, the same woman that defeated Lufisto for the championship. Well, I mean, Allie knows how tough Lufisto is. She was in the ring with her, uh, and, and I guess Allie believes if there's any person that could uh, eliminate the threat of Mercedes Martinez, it is Lufisto. I do have a point there. But, uh, you, you know, I, I'm curious, uh, Cindy, what, what brings you out here? I mean, uh, what, what's, what's going on here? It's been a while, and uh, I mean, there's no secret that, you know, Mercedes and I are friends. And sure. So I don't get to see her very often, and actually, you know, and a lot of the other girls I don't get to see. And so when, when she's in town, that's it. I, I gotta come out and watch. I would just do anything I can, you know, for WSU, and do tonight, just watch her match and see how the girls are doing. Sure. I mean, a, a lot has changed here in WSU since you uh, since you were around, and uh, the, these athletes coming out here uh, uh, every event. I mean, they're they're really doing their thing. I mean, you you've got to be proud of watching the current WSU product. Yeah, absolutely. It, you know, it just pains me that uh, I can't do it myself anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, don't get me wrong. I am still the definition of technician. I never would have doubted that. Cindy. I may be retired. I'm not dead. <laughs> uh, sure thing. I mean, uh, and, and right now, Mercedes Martinez might be dead after getting that stiff boot to the face. Yeah, she really slid in there to an upside down Mercedes Martinez, and uh, and I, I guess you're you're uh, throwing your support behind Mercedes Martinez here tonight, yeah? Mm, okay. <laughs> right now, Mercedes isn't looking too good. As Lufisto just violently assaulting the Latina cessation here at Breaking Barriers 4 in the name of Allen. The thing is, with either one of them, too, when either one of them is down, you know, neither one of them is out. They're, they're just tough. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. If there's anybody who can uh, bounce back from a beating like this, it certainly is Mercedes Martinez. And uh, Lufisto on the outside here. Uh, this is starting to get reminiscent of that ultra violent affair we saw here a few years ago. Yeah. You know, it was only a matter of time before it started to get a little chippy like that, you know? I mean, what we saw before the opening bell, Lufisto came out there, guns a-blazing, just decking her from behind. That's what I said earlier, that, you know, she wants to know she's back. Hey, we, she's right now, Lufisto taking off that top turnbuckle pad. I don't think we need this, though. I mean, I, I get being aggressive and intense and wanting to win a match and maybe uh, doing some dirty work for Allie, but come on, we, we don't need to take away the turnbuckle pads. We don't need to do anything underhanded like this. Absolutely not. Well, you know, we've seen the psyche of Lufisto change during our tenure here in WSU. Thanks, Back and to, forth. thanks to our old management team here in WSU that pretty much handpicked her to be destroyed by Allie. Just that old saying, you know, you gotta expect the unexpected. Yeah, certainly. And, uh you never really know uh, what kind of Lufisto you're going to get. And tonight, uh, she is agitated. She's angry. Uh, right now she's going for a cover. But, oh, going for a cover again. But once again, only a two count. And now you can see the frustration over Lufisto. More agitated now. Yeah, and, and, and you know, that added frustration, how is that going to uh, affect how she uh, competes in the ring? A lot of times when people get too frustrated, they lose focus of, of the matter at hand. Will Lufisto... Uh, be able to contain herself, or will that frustration uh, continue to build? 
Will that be your downfall? It's just also in just knowing that can make it way more dangerous. You know, you do have a good point there, Cindy. Uh, Lufisto is a different kind of competitor, and uh, that frustration might might even help her. Right now, Lufisto is having her way with Latina sensation. Oh, look at that mini kawada kicks right there, bringing as you brought uh, Mercedes Martinez up. Uh, you know, I'm kind of surprised that uh, at how one side of one side. Yeah. I mean, especially how dominant we saw Mercedes Martinez at resurgence when she made her long-awaited return here. She got right in the face of Valley, which let, let's not fail to mention this. That was supposed to be the match. Yeah. I quite frankly feel that our WSU champion is running scared of the Latina sensation. The longest reigning WSU champion in history, over 1,000 days champion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just, just to say it, uh, you said it, not me, Allie. Uh, please don't yell at me. High pitch. I can't You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it for what you said there, not me. <laughs> I've had to sit here in commentary with her before with that. But anyway, let's get back to the match of hand here. Yes. Fisto. Cross body on the lower back of Mercedes Martinez. Martinez is down in a heap now. This crowd trying to uh, rally their support behind Mercedes Martinez. And you know what? I'm, you, you talked about uh, the cover once again. That shoulder coming up. You talked about the way that uh, she competed at, at Resurgence. Uh, Mercedes Martinez. I'm talking about. I'm not used to her taking this much offense in any match ever. You know what I mean? I'm not used to her fighting from underneath. Uh, typically, Mercedes Martinez, uh, she's the one on top most of the time. Mercedes is the definition, the definition of dominance. One th over 1,000 days. Got the definition of technician. We got the definition of dominance. We got a lot of definitions going on here. And uh, right now, it's looking like Lufisto is the definition of uh, ferocity. She's just peeling away at the face of Mercedes Martinez, trying to make her submit. But uh, looks like these fans are finally rallying her back up to her feet. Oh, there's Lufisto silencing them. I mean, Lufisto's so powerful with that uh, that stocky body that she's got. She packs a lot of power behind those strikes. Tucks out of that close line and takes Mercedes down, and Mercedes can't get on the offensive. This is uh, this is great work out of Lufisto. I really got to hand it to her. Also, it's great, even though she's taken the beating that she's taken, of still having that great presence of knowing that that turn muffle was not there. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Cindy. Fist are just continuing to punch, standing on the base. She just silenced this crowd. And she's just taken completely out of this match up here, as well as silencing Mercedes Martinez. And, and to, to be honest, I don't know if this crowd was uh, anticipating this sort of activity out of Lufisto. Well, there's uh, Mercedes going up and over, but it like jammed her knee up a little bit there. But still able to get Lufisto up and down in that suplex. And she really muscled her up there for that suplex. Lufisto, she's on Dream Street right now. Staggered into the corner. Here comes Mercedes. Big boot once more. You can see, though, Mercedes is taking a beating here. Definitely moving a little gingerly in that ring right now. Yeah, and, and I don't think those strikes have total cover here. Uh, th yeah. Those strikes don't have as much emphasis behind them. As they typically do, Mercedes Martinez, she's got to get back to as close to 100% as she possibly can if she wants to stay on the, in the driver's seat here. And there she's going. She's two for the three amigas. I right, like how you made it feminine. Nice touch. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. I've been in the receiving end of that. <laughs> oh, that, can't, that can't be fun. That, oh. But somehow Lufisto able to take all of it, but I think it was going back to what we've been saying. Mercedes has been on a, been beaten down in this match. Definitely moving a lot slower, and you can see it with those three suplexes. Didn't have as much pop on them as she typically does, but uh, and even the submission hold, you can see almost Mercedes still hunched over, but can't really really pull back like she wants to. Well, I mean, when you have somebody like Lufisto. Uh, <laughs> You know, beating you down for about six, seven minutes. I mean, it's going to be tough to get back into that, uh, into that proper execution of, of your maneuvers and holds. 
And look at Lufisto, the strength and the power, powering herself over to that bottom rope. She's got to carry the weight of Mercedes Martinez, too, when she's crawling like that. Very tough, very strong, as, as I said. A lot of power in that body of uh, Lufisto. She made her way to the bottom rope and forced Mercedes to rel relinquish a hold. Face first into that buckle, and Lufisto looking to turn things around here. That's one way to get it done. <laughs> She's not done yet. Off the rope she goes. Huge, huge boot scrape right across the face of Martinez. I can, I can see from your reaction, Cindy. Uh, you know what all these moves feel like. I, I can see you kind of reacting over here. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that last one for a while. <laughs> but still, the you know. Getting that shoulder up. Yeah. Not staying down for a three count. Talked about in the last match with Kira Hogan, the resilience. Uh, we're getting a lot of resilience out of Mercedes Martinez here, too. Oh, wait a second. Oh, look at getting out of that reverse. He Huge side belly-to-belly -belly suplex there. Just dumped her right on the back of her head. Just crawling on top, trying to get this cover. You can see moving too slow there. Couldn't even hook the leg. She tried, though. She, she's trying to get it done. But, uh, you know, as, as we've said, it's been the story of the matchup here. Lufisto came out there. Uh, I mean, both these women are, trying, are, 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 ain't, are definitely eyeing up that WFC world title. Even even if Allie did handpick Lufisto, that's got to be her motivating factor here. A possible future championship opportunity. And look at this devastating hold here. Uh, this is something uh, that looks like you might have done back in your career, Cindy. I mean, the, this uh, technical maneuver like this. Absolutely. The best thing is just to wrap it with the pretzel. <laughs> submission also helps her to kind of recoup a bit from the beating that she just got from Mercedes as well. So. That's an excellent point. Yeah. Mercedes definitely the only, she's willing herself through this match right now. She knows what she wants. She wants that championship goal. Allie pretty much made it clear that if she can get through the fist though, she'll get that championship opportunity. Yeah. So both of them, the veterans that they are, they both <laughs> And you got to think, if Lufisto knocks off Mercedes Martinez, she can lay claim to that number one contendership as well. So That's what I was saying earlier. I think that, that has to be the only reason why she allowed herself to be chosen by Allie. Oh, no. Keeps going for that burning hammer. Oh, she goes face first into the exposed uh, turnbuckle. And Mercedes, fisherman buster. Going for the cover here. One, two, and this could be it. She yes. got it. And thanks to our ringside announce team, you just watched the Latina sensation Mercedes Martinez and Lefisto, two of the greatest women in the planet when it comes to this work inside the wrestling ring. Go at it in a hard-hitting match. And the fiery Latina sensation Mercedes Martinez wins this one. Both tattooed the Dawn women getting the adulation of the CZW Girls faithful. Referee Dan Yost raising the hand of the victor. You see Mercedes still adjusting her pads and feeling good about this victory, but you know she's going to feel that tomorrow morning. That was a battle. And there goes the Latina sensation. Fans, don't forget, before you saw her in NXT, you saw her here in CZW Girls, and she wants that title. I'm sure we'll be able to bring that to you sometime in the future. And there she is, the Latina sensation, ladies and gentlemen. Toughest woman I've ever met. Her and Lefisto are probably tied for toughest, but I guess tonight she wins. And the action rolls on as Jade, one of the most amazing women I've seen, is going to take on Taylor Hendricks, one of the most beautiful women I've seen, right here in CZW Girls. And there she goes, Jade. You've seen her on Impact, you've seen her in WWE, NXT, but before either, she spent time in CZW Girls, and I can tell you, Jade, not only is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen, and she's also one of the toughest, regularly competed with men in CZW. There she goes, representing. 
bandana over the face, letting people know that she is not here for jokes. She's here for business. Takes that bandana off. Moves Nick Papa Giorgio, our referee, out of the way. And now, one of the most beautiful women to ever step foot in any wrestling ring any, anywhere, the red-headed spitfire, Taylor Hendricks. Wow. She's just wow. Uh, I, I'm speechless, fans. Taylor Hendricks is a beautiful, beautiful woman, but don't get it fooled. She can go in that ring, and we're about to see what I guarantee will be a hair-pulling cat fight. There she is, the redhead we all want, Taylor Hendricks, about to take on Jade, and I am fully excited for this matchup. Uh-oh, let's go to ringside. Well, there we got the bell here, and, and Jade, as I was saying, and she clearly is putting this on display, she is highly upset at WSU management. Was she giving Taylor's money, or did she just take it? Probably just took it. Taylor's gonna have to take a beating. It's looking like so far in this match. Yeah, and this is quite different than what we saw last one, where Taylor Hendricks laid down the beating to Kira Hogan. Maybe, maybe not. Here she goes back to her dominant ways here, taking down Jade. Yeah, Taylor Hendricks is just gonna take a beating. I might have said that, but Taylor Hendricks is gonna fight back and maybe dish out an even more horrid beating than Mia Yim could have laid on her. Well, I mean. Uh... If I'm Taylor Hendricks, I'm mad that she's got my money. So I'm going to try to beat her up and take it back. That's what you do, right? Yeah. This is, I don't this is high stakes, man. Yeah, I don't want to make a bump fights reference. That's usually how most of those fights began. Come on now, Jake. And there's Taylor Hendricks is slamming down Jade. Picks up out of steam. Ooh. Look at that. And look at this submission hold. Bending Jade nearly in half here is Taylor Hendricks. Pulling up on the chin, lots of pressure on the neck and the back, and Jade just giving the finger to Papa Giorgio, and you know, that's okay with me, I suppose. All right, I missed what happened. Sammy Callahan was bumming a skip off me. Confirmed. Ooh, headbutt. Well, you didn't miss that. A headbutt right to the face of Jade. Backing Jade up into that corner. And now Taylor Hendricks is stomping away on the War Queen. What the hell's happening at the temple there? They can't even give enough money to buy dip? He just knows you're easy. Yeah. That's all. Oh, nothing easy about that. Just dragging her by her ears back to the corner. Clawing her face and now driving that boot right into her throat. Taylor Hendricks dominant here. Almost making Jade's... Well, clearly just nullifying all of Jade's anger right now. Here she comes. Oh, man. Right to the midsection with those boots. And you gotta figure every time Taylor Hendricks says gut check. Bad things spring to her mind and she takes him out on her opponent. Hey, you know, the, the thing about this matchup here, the way it's uh, unfolding here, Taylor Hendricks is doing this to an angry, irritated, ticked off Jade. Even a regular Jade, this is difficult to do. Oh, God, Jade. She's one of the toughest women we've ever seen. We've seen her in the combat zone yeah. take on Craig Excellent in a TLC match. And now... For, for, for Taylor Hendricks to be doing as well as she is against somebody like Jade, this is really remarkable that she's able to continue to press this advantage. Going for this hold one more time. Really doing a lot of damage with this one. She's got her locked dead center in the ring, too. Mia Yim is nowhere near the ropes trying to will herself to him, but Taylor Hendricks is just trying to lock this hold on even tighter. Jade getting that Two, bottom rope, three, forcing four. Hendricks to break the hold. Lots of uh, perseverance there shown by Jade. She was, uh, she went almost from one side of the ring to the other. Uh, now look at Taylor them. Hendricks taking that bandana three. and shoving it down her throat. Taylor Hendricks isn't very respectful to her opponents, but it brings her a lot of success. You can't knock the idea. 
Taylor Hendricks now bringing in that, that train from her singlet and now using it as a weapon. Nick Papa Giorgio has lost complete control of this Yeah, he's, he's got to he's got to get that out of her hands or uh, yeah, there you go. Get rid of that. <laughs> Nick Papa Giorgio probably knew if he disqualified her, he'd be getting a beat down too. Yeah, me, you wouldn't be happy about that either. He is not in an, in an enviable, enviable spot right now with two angry, irritated women in the middle of that ring. And now Taylor picking her up, side slam. No, Jade rolls back. Ooh, double high kicks and both girls getting knocked down. It's gonna get to their feet first. That kick took a lot out of both of them, connecting at the same exact moment. But a lot more has been taken out of Jade than has uh, Taylor Hendricks. Six. Taylor Hendricks is the first. Yeah, first. He has to get to a vertical base. Jade not far behind. And Jade now waking up here in the late innings. Mm. Knee strike to the temple. Rolling salt button. Uh, what a combo there from Jade. That had to be like six or seven hits there. Yeah, but not enough to keep Taylor Hendricks down as Hendricks able to get that shoulder up before three. But Jade repositioning her opponent, heading to the top. High atop the flyer skate zone here, but Taylor Hendricks. Mm, hard overhand job there. You know, we talked about in the Lufisto Mercedes Martinez matchup. This has a lot of title match implications behind it as well. Oh, look at this. Oh. And there's that viciousness coming out of Jade right now, nearly ripping the arm out of its socket. You've already seen her other arm has a little bit of that medical tape on it. Yep. Turn around here, and Jade. Missile drop kick, flooring her opposition on top, folding press. Two count is all. Taylor Hendricks goes to the outside, but stops on the ring apron, slingshots herself in. What does she have planned here? Whatever it is, it's not working out. Whoa, look at that out of Jade here. Huge power bomb, sit down power bomb into a cover, getting a three count. Well, wait a second, hold on. Yeah, Taylor at the bottom rope, I saw it. Controversial win for Jade. Taylor Hendricks did have that bottom rope, but I don't think Jade cares. Jade just happy to be getting out of here. An amazingly beautiful woman. Amazingly violent as well. And uh, showing these fans exactly what she thinks of them. Nice of you to dress up for vacation, Jade. Some of these fans, though, getting uh, her respect, I guess, getting high fives. And Taylor Hendricks in the ring. I wonder if she needs CPR. I'm happy to volunteer if necessary. Sits up obviously disappointed that the referee did not see her hand on that bottom rope. And just looks to that hand. That hand that betrayed her because the ref didn't see it. Man, what a bout. And there she is just complaining that her hand was on the rope. And she, she's justifying that, fans. This match should rightfully continue. Unfortunately, the referee did not see it. That's all the Taylor Hendricks we get treated to now. But fret not, CZW Girls fans. The train rolls on as Leva Bates and Sue Young go 101 for the Spirit Championship. What an amazing match this is going to be. And here she comes. The undead bride, Sue Young, escorted to the ring by Chrissy Rivera. Sue Young, you've seen her on national television. You've probably seen her in some of your nightmares and other types of dreams too, to be quite honest. Just such a beautiful young lady with such a weird outlook on life. The undead bride. Then again, uh, my wedding night and my bride seem kind of dead too, but that's a whole story. And there she is, Sue Young. Amazingly talented young lady. Amazingly violent young lady. And I guarantee she has some hair pulling today because, uh, well, Sue's not above anything. There she is. 
the Undead Bride. Sue Young, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, look out, Larry Legend. I'm going to bring an announcer to get out of the way. Chrissy Rivera, probably the only person on the planet that can control Sue at least somewhat when the sheep keeps a distance. But now, her opponent is going to make her way to the ring. The Enchantress, Leva Bates. Leva Bates, uh, I'm learning a little pixie dust in the face of uh, that young man. We him to carry her championship belt. She is an enchantress. Leva Bates known for her cosplay. Different characters every time you see her. Each one of them more alluring than the next. But to everyone who's ever been in the ring with her, every match is more violent than the next. Wow. Why well, wouldn't pay to that gentleman to come here? Hands don't miss these of you girls when it comes near you. Because the Enchantress, Leva Bates, might be on the car. Leva Bates, who made her name on uh, what you now see on Wednesday night programming, wearing blue pants. She has foregrown those pants tonight for her Enchantress gear. And I think all of us are quite happy to say that uh, we're not offended that she did such. The Enchantress. I can't, I can't even a better cosplay for Leva. Such an alluring young lady. Amazing personality if you ever meet her in the locker room. But also just... Oh, ooh. This, this is interesting, actually. Sue Young, who's usually the one playing mind games, now looking into the face of the Enchantress Leva Bates. Mind games being played by Leva just as well. Fans, I can't wait for this match at the start. Oh, give it, up, give it up, Frankie Picard. And Leva Bates, your spirit champion of CZW Girls, showing off the championship gold to his fan base. And fans, I'm going to send this down the ringside so we can watch what I'm sure will be one hell of a matchup between the Undead Bride and Leva Bates. Interesting first, the challenger. see that Su Young for the first time is almost in shock as somebody else is playing mind games on her. Well, well the question that I have here is you said uh, Leva Bates found the monster within and that's that's great that's a good way to uh, come into a matchup like this especially against Su Young but Su Young is she is a monster yeah through and through uh, Will the attempt of Leva Bates here be enough to take out the real monster that is Su Young? We know, we know she can defeat her in a wrestling match, but with all the bad blood they've had, this is going to go further than any other matchup they've had before. It's just bound to ha happen this time around. The way 
Leva Bates has even transformed herself to fight this monster. But will it be enough this time? These two ladies just... Each time before she caught Sue Young by surprise to beat her. How many tricks does she have up her sleeve? These two ladies just trying to get into each other's heads right now as they're meeting in the center of the ring. Looks like Sue Young wants to go for a test of strength, but is almost questioning it. And in fairness to Leva Bates, the last time out when they fought back in September, there was a brief moment where Sue Young showed fear against Leva Bates. It didn't last long, but it happened. Well, she's, she's now feeling that, that, that enchanting talk that we saw. Enchanted Frankie Picard to come out here and escort Leva Bates to the ring. And now it's seemingly put a stop to Sue Young here. I mean, that's, that's quite a power that uh, Leva Bates is able to have here. I mean, she was even able to in, uh, work her magic on Larry Legend. I mean, that's... She did. <laughs> and it is impressive. Yeah. Why? Come on. You, you know why. Well, what I know right now is somebody's going to try and get the advantage. Oh, 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 or not. Oh. Leva Bates just got unloaded on by Sue Young. I think maybe Sue Young was just playing a little, uh, playing into the game just to get her own way here. Leva Bates coming in with a rolling spear. Yeah, stop Sue Young dead in her tracks. She was trying to figure out what exactly Leva Bates was doing, and then Leva Bates didn't even stop, just speared her right down to the mat. Stop. Stop. Look at the way Leva Bates is just eyeing her up. <sighs> she is adapting to the Sue Young style. But that style was invented by Sue Young, we're about to see here. Whoa! Impressive offense driving. Leva Bates face first in that second turnbuckle. Not only is it uh, impressive, it's also very unorthodox. It's it's very hard to combat. Uh, to combat it. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you, not the word combat. So I don't know. <laughs> He's too busy. He must have been enchanted himself by Leva Bates. You know, I think I am, quite honestly. Well, she's got that uh, Darlene Connor cosplay. She looks like she's setting up. Set Setting up for a dragon sleeper, spider style. These two ladies. This is, a, this is a much different battle than we saw a resurgence. Bates gets right back up for the top turnbuckle. I, I, don't, I think most of the fans don't even know what to make of this. I think you're right. There, I mean, usually when you see Leva Bates out here, she's having fun. I mean, even last time she came out like the Terminator, Sounds but like she fun. was having fun. Ooh. But right now, Sue oh. Young stopping the Enchantress in her tracks now. No, when you have a uh, deep-seated psychological warfare like this, are I they mean, messing with the lights too with their mind? Is that what's going on? Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of mysticism here in this main event here at Breaking Barriers 4 as Leva Bates driving those knees right into the chest of Sue Young. And on the outside, Chrissy Rivera seems irate at what she's seeing in the ring right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, if it continues this way and Leva Bates picks up the victory, uh, Chrissy Rivera is going to be awfully angry. It wouldn't be a good day at the office for her. Well, yeah, you got to look at it from Chrissy's point of view. She had a plan going in here, and just a couple days ago, we saw Leva Bates transform into a monster. A monster applying a variation of a cross face. Lots of work on the submission hold here. Too young. There's no way to try to break the hold or get to those ropes. Much smarter idea. Still impressive strength that she was going against all the pressure from Leva Bates to get to that bottom rope. Well, I mean, she's a, she's very tough. Uh, don't don't let this uh, the mind games fool you. Sue Young, when it comes down to it, she is a very tough professional wrestler. By the way, she's blocking those kicks. Still got her reflexes. They're being stretched by Leva Bates. He puts on the brakes. Are these two women battling on the, on the outskirts of our ring here. 
dangerous territory here in WSU as there's no padding on the outside. And that is the hardest part of the ring that Leva Base just was driven into. And in a matchup like this, you're probably going to see a lot of things that we just saw. A lot of reactive type offense. Uh, you know, with, with the amount of mind games being played here, out on the outside. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. What in the world? Too Young just powering, having her way with Leva Bates. Oh, God. Throwing her whole entire body into that guardrail upside down. Leva Bates folding over it and falling down onto the un, 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 um, padded floor. And right now, Sue Young rearranging the furniture here in the WSU ringside area. What does she have up her sleeve? What's going through her mind right now? I mean, she has no idea. She's unpredictable. She just knows she's oh, doing something. She knows exactly what she's doing. It's just everybody else who doesn't. Either way, using those stairs, coming off with a huge Superwoman punch, taking out Leva Bates. I think Sue Young. Uh, yeah, Wonder Woman. Yeah, good point. Good point. I, I think uh, Sue Young here. She's uh, she's very much in control of what she's doing. Oh God, look at this though. Oh, she got caught though. Now Leva Bates is the oh, no. one in control. Oh no. Oh no. Leva Bates has a crazy look at her. Oh, huge suplex right onto the unpadded floor. There's no protection on this floor. Straight up, dumped her hard. But now she's got to get her back in the ring. These two ladies better be careful. This match can be thrown away. Yeah. This, there is still rules around this match as Nick Papa Giorgio applying the count here. I was going to say she has to get her back in the ring. She doesn't have to get her back in the ring. She's the champion. She's trying to end it. She can do whatever she wants without losing that title. We talk about Leva Bates finding that monster within. That might be her undoing here right now because Leva Bates still at heart is a good soul, a good human being. Yeah. And she wants to win it the respectable way. And right now, that may have been her undoing as Chrissy Rivera has her distracted and Sue Young rolling back out to the outside. And has got her eyes locked on Leva Bates and a huge kick taking out Bates. Tremendous recovery time on the part of Sue Young. Stay here. Not doing anything. Not doing anything. Sue Young climbing back up onto the apron now. We've seen her fly off this apron time and again. What she got planned here? Nope. Breaking the count. Oh, Leva Bates smartly bringing Chrissy Rivera in as a human shield. I thought you said Leva Bates was a good person. Well, she found that monster within, so I guess some of that goodness is going out the window here. Well, right now, Leva Bates in control of this match, going for a cover, maybe taking a little too long, and there you have it, Sue Young kicking out before three. Now Leva picking up Sue Young, but Sue Young breaking the hold. Now she's got Leva up on her shoulders. For an airplane spin, Maliva Bates getting out of that predicament. These two women in the center of the ring. Catching that kick to the face. Either woman wants to make a mistake now in this fight. Both women having a similar idea there. Both women knocking each other out. And Nick Papa Giorgio applying the count here. Yep. And that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. That reaction type thing. They yeah, what's going on with Chrissy? Chrissy's Wait. handing you something. Some sort, of, some sort of glove is on her fan. And I'm sure there's something in that glove, too. Just a hand. Easy. I'll leave a bait for reversing using that hand. They, they, not loved hand. I think there's a. I, I mean, I can't quite tell from here, but it looks awfully. Uh, Chris Rivera now barking orders to the back. Looking for some help here. Here comes the sweet. Here we go. Here we go. The sinister sweethearts out. Leva Bates now We're pushing Samantha Heights off. But wait a second here. Oh, bell spin coming out now. They, they, got, they, they were part of that locker room brawl we saw go viral on the internet. Trying to keep these ladies apart. They're trying to keep order in this match now. Brittany Blake just gets sent off the apron by Leva Bates. Man, this thing is uh, really turned wild and chaotic right now. Nick Papa Giorgio not even in the ring. He's trying to 
rid the uh, ringside area of these non-participants in this matchup, but in the process, leave a base in that backstabber. Chaos going to has taken over here at WSU, breaking barriers four as Leva Bates looking for a pinfall here, but oh no. Chrissy Rivera with that spirit championship kick to the midsection. Leva Bates not gonna go down the same way she went down last month. Leva Bates now. Oh, she's got her locked in that standing dragon sleeper. Well, there's Sue Young. Oh, that red mist! That bloody mist into the face Keep right of the interest. Right into the eyes. Airplane spin driver. But we have no referee right now as Nick Papagiorgio is too busy trying to eliminate. Wait a Those second, here he is. New champion. One, two, and three. Do do? Holy wow. Not like this. And fans, you just watched a hell of a contest. You heard our ringside commentator say, not like this. And obviously, speaking of the interference by Chris Rivera, Sue Young wins the championship. Wait a second. Looks like uh, some other young ladies are entering the ring. That's the rest of the citizens of sisterhood. Sue Young now is your spirit champion of CZW Girls. The Sinister Sisterhood reigns supreme. There's more of that mist. Sue Young, an amazing talent. Chris Rivera, the only person on earth that might be able to handle her. The undead bride now, just staring down. Uh oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. This doesn't look good for Lima Bates. Things are, things are go going from bad to worse. Wait a second, here oh. we have the backseat girls. The backseat girls not having any of this. What's their business here? Well, these two ladies, as you know, the backseat girls are well-respected women here in the WSU locker room. They don't some like call what them they the just locker saw. Room, Some call them the locker room leaders. Yeah, certainly. I, I certainly do. And uh, Chrissy Rivera's stable has left the, the ring area here. They, they knew what was coming to them. Wait, what, what the hell is going on? How did she do that for? You know, they had their little squaw like argument following the tag team match. What the hell is this about? Any social laying out Missy Stanton. What? No. It, come on, Annie. How long has this been in the plans for Chrissy Rivera? Annie, you're better than this. Word. You think we're a joke now? You are a joke. You think so? Look at us! There is no stopping the reckoning! Ever! And fans, uh, interrupted by MLJ at ringside, uh, sorry about that, uh, uh, was not expecting that. The reckoning, the sisterhood, just, 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 I, I don't know what that was, but everyone, man, man, I'm speechless. Andy Social just turning on Missy Sampson of the Backseat Girls and, and everyone else in the WSU CZW Girls locker room. But fans, that's what you expect when you come here for CZW Girls unpredicted, unpredictable action, amazing cat fights, amazing brawls, amazing women right here in CZW Girls. And I can't say anything but how proud I am. Missy Sampson not proud right now. They're just disappointed that her sister... Andy Social will turn on her. Both trained by the legendary Trent Acid, or both trained with Trent Acid, I should say. Fans, we thank you for joining us here at Combat Zone Wrestling Girls. We guarantee that no matter what offering you get from Combat Zone Wrestling, it will be absolutely amazing and like nothing else. We thank you, we appreciate you, and we guarantee nothing but violence. Yeah, like the 
Oh, once again, prepare for war. 